are salts. Salts, isn't it? Smells nice, huh? We have lavender Epsom salts for this experiment. Just a second. Okay, today we are going to try and make crystals overnight in a jar, huh, Elizabeth? In the children? In the jar, yeah. We have some Epsom salts. Ours happen to be lavender scented, but yours don't need to be. We have three jars because we're going to try three different colored crystals. So we also have three different colors of food coloring. We have a small spoon to stir with and a selection of different shapes and sizes of pom-poms. Um, you could use a measuring cup as well. We're gonna need to measure out our salts and our water. That one's blue, yes. Okay, so first we're gonna start by measuring some Epsom salts out. You're going to need one cup of Epsom salts for each jar, for each crystal you're going to make. Our salt measured into our jars the next step is to pour our water into the jars in this experiment it's really important for the water to be hot so that it dissolves the salt crystals however in this experiment we're going to be using something called a super saturated solution which means that we're adding that much salt to the water that it's mostly going to dissolve but you'll notice that there is still a little bit of salt left at the bottom of the jar when you're finished mixing it Okay, when your hot water is ready, you can have an adult help you pour it into the jars. You're going to add one cup of hot water into each jar because you have one cup of salt in each jar. our jars have our super saturated solution in them it's time to put in some food coloring put it in. Go ahead. this one's going to be purple Pumble. good job let's mix now mix now let me done let me done it on, good girl. And green. Green? The next one will be green. And there. We mix. Yes, we lay down. We lay down. Lay on, good job. And blue. And there blue. This mix. Good job. Purple, green, and blue. They're blue. The final step is to add pom poms into our super saturated solution. Green. green. We're going to use a variety of different shapes, sizes, and color pom poms to see how it affects our crystal growing. Go ahead, Elizabeth. 
pom poms. This nest. Okay, so now for a little science behind this project. We talked about how we made a super saturated solution using equal parts salt and hot water and about how it didn't quite dissolve every single crystal because it just couldn't hold any more salt. As the solution cools down, the salt molecules come out of the solution and they're going to crystallize onto whatever surface is inside our jars. So in this case, it's our pom-poms. We're hoping that the little spiky parts that stick out of some of our pom-poms are going to collect their own crystals and we should have some really interesting specimens. In this experiment, the pom-pom is acting as a nucleation site or an uneven surface on which the crystals can easily start to grow. Now we're going to put our three jars into the refrigerator and we're going to leave them overnight and see what happens. So with a little bit of patience, this experiment should produce some pretty exciting results tomorrow if you can wait that long. <laughs> of our crystal experiment and we're here to see our results. Okay, so we have some good news and some bad news. We found that the purple and blue solutions that we made yesterday were actually not super saturated enough and because there weren't any crystals left in the bottom from our Epsom salt, that this morning when we had a look in the refrigerator, only the green jar um, produced any crystals. But what it did produce was extraordinary. So for the grand unveiling, this is what we have. So as you can see, our purple pom-pom has actual crystals growing on it. Different sizes, pretty unique shapes, and they're definitely growing on the actual pom-pom. We can't quite say the same for the green pom-pom which looks like it just has its original spikes. Maybe if we had left it a little bit longer, we would see some crystal growth. I think we should take a look at some of the green crystals that were in the bottom of the jar, and then maybe we can look at them under the magnifying glass or under our microscope. What do you think, Elizabeth? I mean, Elizabeth? Yeah. You have some really interesting it's examples here. Some, some of these are, we could definitely make some more Elizabeth. I think we should. Some of these are pretty big little clusters here. This is probably just a mix, I think, of small crystals. But it's really interesting to see all the different shapes and sizes of them and that they turned green because of our food coloring. And look, they have such beautiful little formations. Right. 